welcome back to 3G Video, where we are at Sick Week, day two at Byron Dragway. This is an exciting track with a lot of people. We got some fast cars, some good racing. Let's get started with today's video. Ninety-seven and two hundred for Alex. Wow, that was that was a pass. There's more smoke down there on Alex's car. Looks like they might be using a fire extinguisher, or they might have a fire down there. I'm not sure. Looks like they uh, had to use some fire suppressant on it. We'll uh, we'll catch up with them in a minute. Okay. I saw a little bit of fire coming out of this side, so I was like, fire! And thankfully the crew here started spraying, so. Got a mess to clean up, but always positive. 697, 200 something, so. There's some oil down in the catch pan. Oh, well, you gotta be a competitor. Uh, and it sounds like it's down a hole, so that is <laughs> not great. So they're gonna try to figure it out and we'll see. Well, we'll have to see how things unfold if the Taylors can get that thing back together or not, but they are getting racing started back up. So let's run back down and see who's up next. We got cleaned up, we got guys back up, ready to see some more of the fast cars. Back into the water box. 
the uh, reverse solenoid is out on it. So they have no trans brake. Again, they are going to hopefully get it fixed tonight. We have Devin's Mustang and we have Cletus coming up the pass right after him. Those two cars are in a heated battle for that small tire. They got down there and they beat Devin. Got a little cleaner in the water box, see if he can get a better pass for today. struggling with some traction on that as if you might tell the clouds are getting a little darker we got cars getting ready to leave very early and we still have cars that have not made passes yet so it's gonna be really interesting how this all plays out today see how the weather goes and how, how many uh, passes we can get but we do have a lot more to come here at the track well guys this is not what we like to see at a drag racing event rain just cut loose be interesting to see what decisions are made as to how we proceed today as we the rain is starting to clear there's more rain in the area so we're gonna see how this plays out we got a lot of d-class cars that haven't made it a pass at all then we have a-class cars like Tom McGilton that are already done swapped over and headed to the next track so we're gonna be separated a good amount today I'm sure we're still gonna see a lot of people out on the road we're gonna catch up with some of the people that are still here so we're gonna go through the pits talk to some people see how their week's going so far Okay, so you have something very unique here. Can you can you walk us through what, what we got going on? Yeah, so the, the car's got a pretty cool story behind it. Uh, when my dad and I first got it, we, we drove it home, pulled it right in the front yard of the house, and my mom's response was, get that ugly effing thing out of my yard right now. Uh, so the next week, we went and got a Sheila's Dream sticker made to go in the back window, uh, just kind of as a joke. And her name's Sheila. Her name is Sheila, yeah. yep. And she... She now loves the car. Uh, three years ago, we started the build. Uh, we put an L six liter LS in it. Uh, two kits of four or two kits of 200 shot nitrous, <laughs> ran by a Heltec Nexus R5 system. And we've got the Performer built 4060E trans in it with a brake. And so far, we've only sprayed it with a hundred shot. But uh, hopefully Friday we can turn it up to 200 if we break into the tens if we can keep it in one piece by then awesome man you got the whole family riding with you uh got four in this car and then you got four in another car correct yeah we got four in here we got a good crew with us there you go. awesome man well it's awesome seeing out here doing wheelies and doing its yep, thing yep. so we'll, we'll like to see you keep up with it and we'll see you throughout the week sounds good thank you very much thank you so much okay so we saw you at the big end looking yeah. it over what what happened uh, so, it looks like it's hurt a couple pistons, don't know why, have no idea why, so we would fix it if we had only one hurt piston because we have a spare, we don't have two spares, so probably going to be out, my mom and Meg are on the way to get the trailer, um, but if somehow a piston miraculously showed up, maybe we would visit looking at it, if we can find a set, there's a couple feelers out, but honestly there's so much metal from that one piston, probably not worth it, so uh, I don't know. We're going to look and see, and then we'll dig into it. Well, congrats on the couple sixes, and uh, good luck. If we don't see you the rest of this week, we'll see you sometime soon, I'm sure. Sounds good. Okay, guys. So we saw yesterday you had a little issue on the line. Can you explain what happened? Um, I think I was a little bit anxious to shift in the second, and my hand was sort of pulling on the shifter, and it jumped out of gear. I thought I broke it, but or no, it was just driver error, that's all. Well, that's good, I'm glad that it's not hurt. Yeah, that's that's for too. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Say a little bit about it again, just a so reminder, it's right? a 1956 Dodge Suburban. Um, it's a two-door station wagon. They did make a Suburban and a four-door. The two-door is not quite as common. It's got a 440, four-speed, four, nine-inch. Awesome. Yeah, they made them for, I don't know, just about 10 years, maybe. 
but yeah, but they were more of a utility vehicle, so they got pretty beat up. So well, not I'm, many survived. I'm glad yours survived. Yeah. So that's good, man. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. we'll keep up with you, All and right. good luck. Okay, thanks. We're putting all new rear suspension on it. All new rear suspension? Oh, from bone stock to fully adjustable with... Look, if there's, you find a set of coilovers, you'll see how, what, they, what they look like. They're, uh, they're bent on 45. We've been on the back of the that, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm putting all new suspension on it. Got it today. Okay. I already made a pass, so. Well, that's good. Well, you got all evening then. That's you right. Just got to get to the next track tomorrow. That's so, right. take your time, get it done, try to stay dry. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Well, they just called it. Everybody is free to leave, and we are not counting the times from today. So, they will be void, and everybody's just going to go run the route and make it to the next track for tomorrow. We're gonna race there, and those will count. So, let's get on the road. Oh yeah, we're leaving the track, getting some burnouts. Yeah. Woo! Man, everybody is piling out. So we're gonna have the group that was out in front, and then we're gonna have a massive group all leaving at the same time here since they called it. It's gonna be a lot of fun on the road today. We definitely are creating a massive traffic jam. Have a guy over here, he's filming, getting some cool stuff of our hot rods coming through. You don't really realize how many cars there truly are until you sit out beside the road and just watch them go by, get pictures and hang out. Anyways, there are still plenty of cars going by. It's gonna be like this for a hot minute. We need to get back on the road so we can catch them at the route stop because of course that's fun. It was, hopefully it's not raining at the route stop. We can spend some time with them. So let's get to the route stop. Cletus is on his way. Got that thing going. got into town and of course the parts stores are going to be very popular we have a couple of our cars here and we have the Econo line Woo! that is so cool we were driving along there and this truck was following he is actually racing this thing it's uh the dually on slicks pretty sick and then we got a ford truck over here and then falcon pretty sweet here at the parts store i didn't actually need anything i just saw these guys pulling over so you're just doing some maintenance stuff yep cool. fix the holes before it becomes a problem there you go man hop down just down the street to the other parts store got some more guys hanging out here let's see what's going on we got fox body c10 a lot the lightning that's clean man the nova Okay, so what'd you break? Uh, my caliper mounting brackets bolts came loose. Well, why'd you do that? Because I like to live dangerously. Okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> I like that. I like that answer. That's good. Okay. Because six, six summer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Rolling into the first checkpoint. We have the Dodge Suburban here. We got so many cars. Looks like somebody's been having a good time out here already, so we might get ourselves some trailer burnouts.
Chris is here. And Gold Star. So our big, we had like three of the fast five cars here all at the same time. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna hit the road because we can get down to the next route stop. My hat is completely off center. Okay, it's still off center. Man. Cheesy castle. Woo! <laughs> okay guys, let's hit the road. Well, after a fun adventure and a long live stream, we are back on the road heading towards the Cheesy Castle. Well, we are in Wisconsin! So it was a not a route stop, route stop on the map of the General Lee at this establishment. So we are stopping just to see some cars real quick. Oh, I love this thing. Drive going good? Yeah. Good. 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 Brakes are good. Awesome, man. I'm glad I've got brakes just because these shock absorbers now. I'll try and get some shocks. I may have some for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, so good. I won't rip that board down to places. Awesome. So the shock being bad allowed it to collapse too much, get into the tire and mess up the quarter, which is so unfortunate. Man, that stuff happens in transit, I guess, but that is annoying. Such a cool, cool car. I'm sure I'll get it fixed though. That thing is sick. Can <laughs> you just step out of it? That was a cool, quick stop. Let's get on to the actual checkpoint, the next checkpoint. Let's get to the road. Parachute mount and the bumper is all bent down. We just left there. It's actually across the street. They stopped here. They're gonna try to bend it back up, get this thing back on the road. Carnage here, it's sick summer. Damn. All right guys, so you're under the car here. You said fuel pump went out. Fuel pump went out. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. So what? what's your solution? You got it figured out or? We did. Okay. And the Red Horse guys and Eddie, Eddie Enzer, is it Enzer? Stop by and help us too, so we're a good deal. Heard you're having an issue too. What's up? Breaking up. Ah. Said something about spark plug wires possibly being the issue or? What happened? We're supposed to be proving rotaries are reliable. Come on. My dumbass didn't turn the fans on. Oh man. Yeah. So she got a little hot. Yeah. So it's just bleeding. basically it's electric pump. So I'm just bleeding the system right now. Okay. Cool. So. Oh. Our rotary boys are okay. So we're going to go ahead and head to the stop. Well guys, we made it to the cheese castle with Benny. We got a couple of the sick ward, a couple of the cars here. 
definitely late to the party. I think most people are going out to get some food. The S box is over there. The Roadrunner and one of the foxes are over there. And we have the Bailey group over there. So they're getting something figured out. Something's wrong with the uh, 57. I got it figured out apparently. And that is it for us here at day two of Sick Summer. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe so you can catch up with all of our live streams throughout the week and with all of the racing action here on the videos. Thank you guys so much. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you guys next time.